I went for an Englishman. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I said, <laughs> my friends told me that I'm too picky when it comes to men. They told me I don't go outside of my comfort zone enough. So I thought, you know what? Let me surprise you, you know? I went for an Englishman. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I said, I can, I can do it. Sweet Caroline and them man, do you know what I mean? I can, I can, I like that. I can, I can get into it. Um, it didn't work out with Barry. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. Um, Barry wasn't able to compliment me without comparing me to food. <laughs> that matched my skin tone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So his favourite one was actually um, my salted caramel queen. <laughs> yeah, disgusting. And I think the reason I was so pissed off was because I couldn't return the favour to Barry. <laughs> you know? Because what am I going to call him? My um, semi skin milk prince, hey? <laughs> um, Call me back, my um, unseasoned chicken strip, hey, you know. <laughs> my little milky bar kid, yeah. <laughs> it didn't have the same ring to it, man, but Barry had to go as well, because he used to do weird stuff, like, he used to stroke his fingers through my braids and whisper, like, what kind of forever? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, <laughs> Barry, Barry was a weird guy, man. He had to go, I had to let him go. I do think another reason that I've been struggling with dating is because of uh, my lack of communication skills. I'm not the greatest at communication. One of the reasons me and my ex actually broke up was because he wanted to integrate role play into the bedroom. Everyone know what role play is? Yeah. Yeah. I bet you <laughs> yeah. For those of you who don't know, it's basically just when you pretend to be someone else in the bedroom, right? And I wasn't against it. I just said, you know, you need to give me some clear instructions. You need to let me know what you want me to do. And he was just like, Kyra, I don't care. You can make me whatever you want me to be. Just make it sexy. And I was like, oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of free reign there, you know? <laughs> but I started and I got into it and I was like, financially stable, you know, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't like that. Uh, I don't really understand why. If you wanted a person, you should have stated that because then I would have said your brother. Do you know what I mean? Because we could have... <laughs> He could have got there a lot faster. He didn't listen to me, you know. He didn't have good communication skills. Um, I do think another reason that I've been struggling, though, is because of social media. You know, everything's via DMs these days, you know? Everything's via DMs. Everything's virtual. I actually had a, had a Jamaican man DM me the other day, and he said, and I quote, I want you to sit down upon me cocky. <laughs> so I can look into your hazel eyes and see heaven. I know, I was in shock, man. I didn't know how I was supposed to respond, but I just remember reading this and being like, this is romance. <laughs> you know, this is the most beautiful thing any man has ever said to me. I know a marriage proposal when I see one. <laughs> The answer's yes, you know? Because I don't know what it is, man. Jamaican men have this weird talent where they're able to say the most sexually outrageous thing to you <laughs> and make it sound like the most beautiful poem ever written by a man. <laughs> and I literally saw it happen the other day. This man walked up to this woman and said, me one, dive in your vagina and swim around like Poseidon. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of being offended, she was like, Wow. <laughs> I'm actually really into Greek mythology, you know. <laughs> it's so hard to find an educated man nowadays, you know. Sometimes it can be so supportive as well. Jamaican men have their own way of supporting women. I used to be really insecure about my fupa. Everyone know what a fupa is? Yeah? For those of you who don't know, it basically stands for like fat upper pussy area. It's here, it's here, yeah? And I used to go out of my way to try and hide it. Winston turned to me and said, good pum pum deserves shelter. I said... <laughs> I started walking differently. I said, yes, it's true. You know, I started getting cocky. Started walking into parties, belly first like the Grinch. I said, yes, it's true, yeah. 
just started getting cocky with it. Looked at all the skinny babes like, um, you guys look cold. You know, you just... Yeah, yeah. Guys, I've been Kyra Gray. Enjoy the rest of your time. <laughs>